Welcome back to another episode of The Scram Line. I'm Nick and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make strawberry shortcakes. Now, if you've never had strawberry shortcakes before, it's like a buttery, flaky bread or cake thing. And in between there's whipped vanilla cream and soaked strawberries. It's really delicious, really easy to make, and you probably already have the ingredients in your kitchen right now. Now this recipe is really special for a couple different reasons. First of all, it's actually over 70 years old and it's a part of Indiana University's annual strawberry shortcake luncheon that the School of Medicine holds to help celebrate all of their medical staff. This year was going to be their 73rd one, which they're still doing, but because of what's happening in the world, everyone's working and living online. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the recipe they use every year so that you guys can partake as well. If you guys actually make the recipe, you guys watching at home, please share your photos on social media using this hashtag because I and Indiana University would love to see your wonderful creations. Let's move on to making the shortbread dough. So you wanna pop your flour, baking powder, sugar and salt into a large mixing bowl. You're gonna use a whisk to whisk that up and combine it really well. Then we are going to be adding some cold butter. So I'm using butter that's straight out of the fridge and I've just cubed it up so that it's easier to kind of crumble into the dry ingredients. Today I'm going to be using some fancy pink gloves. You can use gloves if you like, you don't have to, but it just stops you from getting greasy fingers and like butter and flour under your nails. What you want to do is work quickly at this point because you want to get that cold butter into little pieces about the size of peas into the dry ingredients and once you reach that texture of like a crumbly sand like texture you want to add your cream and water into that and then mix it with a spatula until it forms a dough. Sprinkle some flour onto your workbench and then pop the dough on top. We're just going to kind of bunch it all together so that it forms a proper piece of dough. I'm going to sprinkle some more flour on top of that and use a rolling pin to roll it out to about one inch thickness. I'm going to be using a fancy kind of crinkled cookie cutter today, like a round one. You don't have to use one of those, you can just use a plain round one if you like. But the aim here is to not twist when you cut, just to cut straight down. Because if you twist when you cut, these are gonna rise really weirdly, so try to avoid that. Now, the way that I rolled it out, I'm gonna get about four pieces or round pieces, but you can bunch up the dough again to make another two. They're not gonna look as fancy, they're not gonna rise as straight, but they're still gonna be just as delicious. You're gonna pop these on your baking tray that's lined with the baking paper. Today I'm using silicon baking mats. We're going to brush these with some egg wash. Egg wash, for those of you who don't know, is one egg and one tablespoon of milk whisked together. And it just helps you get a nice shiny golden color on top of your biscuits. We're gonna pop these in the oven on 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes or until they go nice and golden. But once they're finished baking, take them out of the oven and let them cool down completely. Let's move on to preparing our delicious strawberries. So I've just got some fresh strawberries here and we wanna wash them. So I'm gonna dunk them in a nice big bowl of water just give them a little wiggle around just to get any of the like nastiness that might be on them out. We're going to drain them and then we're gonna pop them onto a large baking tray that I've just got some paper towels on. Get them nice and dry, pat them dry on top and we want to slice the green bits. I don't even know what it's called. Slice it off and then we're gonna slice this in long ways. Once you've got all of your strawberries sliced, pop them in a large mixing bowl. We're going to add some sugar in there and I'm going to be adding some contru today. If you're feeling naughty, add it. It's like an orange liqueur. It's really delicious, but you don't have to add it. It's completely optional. 
We're going to mix all of those ingredients together. At first it's going to look like a crusty, sugary mixture, but we're going to cover it with plastic wrap, set it in the fridge for 15 minutes and the sugar is going to melt and it's going to form this beautiful glazy sauce. The last thing you want to prepare is your whipped cream. We're going to add our cream into a large mixing bowl. Today I'm using an electric hand mixer, but if you have a stand mixer and you want to use that, you can just fit it with the whisk attachment. We want to whip this to stiff peaks. Once we've got that done, we've got everything ready to go. Slice all of your biscuits or shortbreads in half. We're going to add some cream on top, add some strawberries on top of that, a little bit more cream, a little bit more strawberries, sandwich it with the other half of your shortbread. Now I'm feeling a little bit fancy today and I've just fitted the end of a piping bag with a Wilton 6B piping tip. I'm going to pipe a swirl of whipped cream on top, add some more strawberries on top and a little sprig of mint and guys that is well, it's not actually my strawberry shortcake recipe, it's Indiana University's recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Again, if you use this recipe, take lots of photos of your wonderful creations, share them online using this hashtag. I can't wait to see your photos. I will see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.